We're here at Waitarua Cemetery at the graveside of Hini Tikiri Karamu. Also known as Jane Foley, Hini Tikiri Karamu was born in Kaitai in November 1840. Uh, her mother was Te Arawa, her father was Pākehā. By the early 1860s she had uh, a number of children, she had left her first husband. She joined forces with Ngāti Kohoreki in the Waikato War and she was present at Paparatu and the Hunua Rangers when it was attacked by Forest Rangers in December 1863. One of the war trophies seized by the Forest Rangers was a flag that Hine had made called the Aotearoa flag. 1913 that was presented to Auckland City. It was draped over the entrance to the Auckland Public Library for the next 60 years uh, and eventually deposited in the Auckland Museum where it's in very poor condition today. Later during the, the Waikato War, uh, Hine was present at the Battle of Gate Pa on the 29th of April 1864 and she risked her own life to take water to a gravely wounded uh, British officer, Colonel Booth. And that was consistent with the code of conduct that Taranga Māori themselves had drawn up prior to the battle, that they would tend to the wounded, that they would um, respect civilians and so on. And that was months in advance of the Geneva Convention, so a very enlightened agreement that they had come up with. Later in life, uh, she became active in the Women's Christian Temperance Movement, which in the 1890s was instrumental in the suffrage petition, of course, and she died here in Rotorua in 1933. For me, the story of this woman is a, is a story of mana wahine. As we've been doing this project and going around the country looking at the new sites of New Zealand wars, we've often noticed that the stories of wahine Māori have been erased from the historical record and there are lots of reasons for that. Um, that's partly because for some iwi what happened to women in the aftermath of war, the atrocities committed against them were a source of trauma that they didn't want to necessarily pass on. Um, for others, there was a, for some there was a sense of shame. On the Pākehā side, the role of women in combat is often overlooked. This woman risked her life at the Battle of Gate Pa to take water to a dying man. And I think for me this is about how Māori women are here at the beginning of life and are there at the end. And this woman exemplifies something that for me is deeply important and deeply meaningful. I think as we think about the New Zealand wars, we often think about the men who fought and fell during that time. But one of the things that I hope comes from this project is that we also remember the wahine because they were there and they fought alongside the men as well.